Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, today I'm coming here and posting my video for the first time, by the way, to show you all how to do a quick and easy up style that also can translate from work to events after work to kids' birthday parties. So first and foremost, um, you will need a few things. So I'm going to show you those real quick. Obviously a hairbrush, unless you are naturally curly and embracing that curl pattern with your up style, you will need to brush your hair. I am naturally curly, but your girl is just not in the mood to style her hair curly because it was time for that during quarantine. I guess I do. It's fine. <laughs> so anyways, you'll need to start with a hairbrush. Um, you'll also need a clip of some sort and then um, a co teasing comb is like essential. A lot of people can use combs. We have one at the salon called the best comb ever, which would be the pretty much the only one I would really recommend for teasing just because normal combs don't, they don't cut it. They just don't cut it. So I would recommend a teasing brush like so. And then again, you will be needing something to style with. Um, I prefer to do up styles with a little bit of bend in the hair. So I usually like to grab a flat iron of some sort or a curling iron. You can kind of do what feels right to you. Um, but yeah, and then some pins. So you can do, I would suggest the standard bobby pin and then that should be what you need. So first step is first is to thermal protect your hair, which I have already gone ahead and done and can't find the can. So sorry, but I use hot off the press by sexy hair. Um, as you can see right here, these are some of the products we're going to be using today, and I will explain to you what those are. So we're going to start in sections. You're going to want to start in medium length sections. I see there's really no precision. I like organic with my up styles. So I find that on yourself one, who in their right mind can do a s proper sectioning? Not me, it ain't me. I mean, I guess it could be me. Anyways, you're gonna start by sectioning out your hair. I have one section right below the occipital bone. And we are gonna section that in two pieces. I like to give it a nice comb out just to give it some cleanness to the hair, if you will. And then we're gonna take our flat iron and the key to getting a good flat iron curl is to not curl it all the way, but to just go nice and slow. And it just gives me a nice little bend. I don't want a full curl. I just need some bend today. Then we're gonna pick up, comb through. And I am curling away from my face. See how I only pull that flat iron just a little bit curved a little bevel to it, add a little texture, and some bump to the hair. And we're gonna do that all the way down the head, so, our hair. Now that we've got most of our hair smooth, bent, doing some stuff, you need some grit. So, save your flat iron for later, because we will need it again, just not quite yet. Personally, I love to tease with sexies, Oh, come on, focus, you sassy little thing. This is Cream to Powder Play. Why do I love this? Um, like this powder play, it gives amazing grit, it gives amazing style, but what it doesn't have in this bottle is throughout texture. What I love about this is that I can squeeze it into my hand, put it at my roots, scrunch it into my hair, sass it around and I have like volume, right? So we're gonna do that right now. So you're just gonna take in the palm of your hand a little bit, you don't need much, just a teeny little guy. And we're gonna emulsify in between our hands, get some on your fingers, because the fingers are gonna be your most important tool. So what I like to do is scoop to the side, put that hand underneath and scrub the base. Scrub the base. And the other hand. And then give it a look down. And then scrunch some in. Because texture all over helps with 
getting your upsell into the shape that you want it to be in. Okay, now that we have used our cream to powder plate, gotta put all this stuff back the OCD is real yeah okay so now we're gonna move on to teasing I'm probably going Kaylee what this is feeling weird this doesn't look right it doesn't look good honey it's not supposed to nothing is gonna look good without styling until it's done right so you're gonna have bits and pieces that don't match that don't align let the hair talk to you listen to it what does it want to do allow it to do its thing right like I have a mad mad cowlick right here that pushes all my hair back girl work it push all that hair on the other side all of a sudden you swab anyways so now what we're gonna do is you want to get those bangs combed into position because this is where we start right is in the front so we're gonna map out the shape of the idea the shape of the of this up style is going to be motion backwards with lots of volume. So I do want some of a part in there, but not a whole lot. And then we push around. So basically I'm using this portion as a little pie center, if you will, and I'm dispersing the hair around the pie. Cool? Cool. So this is the part where you just have to Trust me, because you're gonna look like Poppy from Trolls. All my moms out there, you know what it is. I'm just a cool aunt, it's fine. But um, trust. Okay, so now we're gonna take our spornet, not full of hair, gross. We're gonna take our spornet, and we're gonna take right where our bang is, and you're gonna go diagonal, okay? We're gonna pull that up, we're gonna take our bristles and our hair strand and go down, down, down. If you have fine hair, you need to take the side, and push down lightly. Cool? Cool. So do that until you reach the other side right about there. We call that the recession in the hair world. So on the other side to the recession. So again, here's your little point. Take that to the point and tease. Okay, so at this point you will have two sections that you want to marry together and you're just going to tap at them. You want it to stand up all crazy. Okay, so now that you've done that, those are your bang pieces. If you have more bangs, continue into your recession. I'm going to clip this out of my face so I can see you all. This is not recorded. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to basically work your way around the head using this little center point that we've chosen as your apex, as your highest point or as your center. So now that we've done that, go ahead and work across. Remember, the hair is going backwards, so you want to tease it in the direction you want it to go. I, and I'm sure this is a huge question for a lot of you guys, but teasing in the direction you want it to lay is going to be the best way to get like a supported foundation in there. So since I want all my hair to lay backwards, I'm going to tease the back section, not the front section. You want it to be able to stand on end. If it doesn't stand on end, you're not compacting enough. So make sure you really pack that stuff in there. At this point, you should be looking like a little troll monster. That's okay. That's what I want. We are gonna grab Spray and Play. This is the big red can from Sexy Hair. Um, probably my favorite go-to hairspray. One, it's amazingly volu volumizing. It's amazingly volu voluminous. It's amazingly voluminous, so my jam. Um, what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be picking things up where you've teased and give them a spray. It's so basically all around all that we've just done. Go in and support it with a little bit of hold and let that dry. Perfect. Now that you have let that dry, we're gonna comb it out. 
So I find that most of my fine haired clients are struggling with the comb out version more than the actual teasing um, when it comes to putting in that good tease and then actually smoothing it out so it looks like you have perfect hair and all of a sudden they'll go to tease or comb out their tees and it's gone. So again, I'm gonna kind of preface how to do this based upon your hair type. If you are medium or anything above medium, you will be using all of the bristles. If you are fine haired and <coughs> any sort of damage to fine hair, those types of things, you'll wanna use the edge of the bristle to help gently pull that down. Cool, so now what you're gonna do is you are gonna work your way Pull down a layer at a time. It is not science. And you're basically just gonna lightly comb the top layer. You shouldn't be in any pain. You shouldn't feel any tangles. It should be very light and easy. Cool. So now you're in this place. You have a good shape. You have a good foundation. You're ready to rock and roll, right? The back of your hair should not look perfect. It should just kind of be like, okay, that's a bendy, voluminous thing. So you're gonna take your hairspray again and just support everything that you just put. I like to kind of fan my bangs to the side just to well, get them the hell out of my way, one. But two, it adds a little pizzazz. Okay, so we've teased, we've set, we've done all the things. Now what, right? Cool, now what? Now is when you take your bobby pins and these bad boys right here and start pinning. Um, I am a firm believer of pin and don't look until you're done. Why? Because you're just gonna make yourself mad. And nine out of 10 times you're doing better than you think. What, did it, what was the number one rule of upstyling? Children, anyone in the back, anyone? It is not to judge your work until it's done. Because upstyling is organic. It looks different the whole way through the process until you've tied that last piece in and hairsprayed that last little bit. That's when the bad boy comes together. So shall we begin pinning? I like to start on this side. Like I said, I have that cowlick right up in here. So it's nice for me to um, kind of sway more over to the side. It gives me a little more sass. It gives it, um, it works with my texture. It's when I say listen to the hair, that's me listening to the hair. I'm following the cowlick, I'm pushing it with it back and I'm following suit with that. So we'll start there. You wanna section out the front section and lightly run your fingers into the section and twist, okay? Once we've twist, you're gonna go to the end, hold on to that piece for dear life and rouge. What does that mean? It means to take this section and push with your fingers. Cool. Twist a little bit more, pull it out some and pin it. Very good. Got our first piece pinned, deep breath, everyone's breathing. It's not as hard as it looks, I promise. So here's kind of where I like to decide what little bits will be left out. And I like to leave a, a decent amount out just to give it some texture so my ears aren't as exposed and just because I like the way it looks. All right, so now you see this piece right here. Grab this. Fingers in and twist. This one we're gonna plume a little bit differently. We're still gonna rouge. You're gonna take one strong piece in the center right here and push with your fingers. Well, that was a way better one. <laughs> okay, so then you can kind of pull and play with it a little bit. Give it a little twist back, give it some tightness. And what you're gonna do 
Don't worry, I'll show you. What you're gonna do is take this piece and wrap it around like so and meet it with this piece, okay? Like I said, you can't see, so this is all off of hand feel. Take your pen. I like to open mine up for a little more security. Um, there's a lot of opinions about pinning. My opinion on pinning is to just do what works best for you and don't break your hair. So now that you've got this side pinned up, we're gonna go to right about here, right above the ear and angle that forward and pull that piece away. Okay, this is gonna be our next section right here. I like to do my fringe last because that's to me the money shot. That's what makes me feel pretty. That's what gives me that texture. So I'm gonna save that piece for last and I'm just gonna comb this bad boy so he looks nice at the ends. Lightly combing where my tease was. And we're just gonna do a little something simple for this one and just one twist back and push. So, one twist back and push. Should look a little something like this. Right in there. Not pretty yet, it's okay. And pin, cool. You're gonna take that method that we use on the other side Take the rest of the hair on the bottom. Yes, you heard me correctly. The rest of the hair on the bottom. All of this, we're gonna pull that straight out to the side. Gentle not to pull any pins out, but give it a light comb through again. We don't want anything to look too yucky. Whimsy's one thing, ratchet is another. So. Now that we've gotten this, again, our four fingers are our best friend. Give it a little twist. The four fingers help separate and give texture. And that's what this look is all about is texture, right? So now that we have that twisted, you are going to take this out just like oh, shocker everything else. We're gonna be pluming and rouging. Take that strong last piece and push up with the rest of it. Now we're gonna pull just a few pieces and it's okay if you over pull. Guys, there's no science when it comes to upstyles, especially on yourself, Jesus. Now with our trusty dusty hairspray, we're gonna give that a little bit of a spritty sprout. And I like to take my fingers and just kind of enhance what we've done by spinning it out. Let things drop out, it's fine is fine. So now you're going to take this, oops, <laughs> take this section and feel with your hand to where everything else was laying and lay that right underneath it. Okay. Don't pull too tight because again, this is whimsy. So we don't want it to look too organized. So just kind of pull it taut enough to hold it but not taut enough for you to look like you're trying to get a facelift on the left side. Cool, we've pinned it. Okay, things are going to start looking real weird here for a second, so trust the process. This is an integral piece, save this piece for the last um, section before, cause it's gonna cover up any kind of crazy that you have going on. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do detail work. So if you're seeing anything that's poking out like me, I see this thing. We're gonna take that. We're just gonna feel around. Where does it wanna live? I feel a couple things that could be pinned together right here. So I'm gonna pin those together so I can cover them properly. And when you're pinning guys, let me show you how I pin because I feel like that might be important. I open up my pin. We're gonna get nice and close. I am going to enter in above, and then I'm still holding and push into what I want to cover, okay? Yes, I know things will look weird for a minute. That's okay. Now that we have finished this section and the bottom section, you might have some leftover pieces. Go ahead and just take care of those real quick. 
Um, if anything's sticking out weird, just give it a twist and a tuck and pin it in. Ha! So now that you've gotten everything secure on the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and take the last little bit of this top section right here. Again, I am just grabbing. There is no science, I'm just grabbing what comes up with this section. So this is what came up with this section, so this is what I'm gonna do. Oh. The best updos are done from playing, so play around with it. So like me, I think I want a little more volume right up in this piece, right? Give this some left heavy sass. So I'm gonna take that right here brush this down and tease that right on the bottom section. Take it right on the top and smooth lightly, enough to not disrupt the tease, but to also keep that top layer nice and uh, together. So now that I have that, I'm gonna pull this forward. This is important. If you're gonna be doing this step with this piece, it is so important to lightly smooth down the back too, because this is gonna be twisted. So we're gonna be seeing a little bit of everything. So play around and see what your hair wants to do. I like the four finger method where you take your strand, take your four fingers, grab into it and twist back. Give some sass and zhuzh right where it needs it. We're gonna, instead of rouging, pull out. Start with a little bit of hairspray. Baste your section. Don't go right and let that hairspray do its job for a second. We're just going to pick out some pieces, right? Cool. And then you're just going to guide this piece back. So I think a low bearing piece right about there is going to look perfect. So now that I have it right about there, take your pen. And again, we are going in open. Where's my hand? Hello open entering in the section and then pushing through so that way we have that piece contained <sighs> we're getting there my friends we are almost done so now that we are here you have this piece of hair left right so what we're going to be doing is pulling out just like what we did on the other side little bits that make us feel pretty and together I don't think there's any way to feel together, but that's fine. Um, so this is a fun piece of hair that you can kind of play with a little bit. I'm gonna use it for texture and um, some intrigue on this side. Like I've got a little bit of that twist and texture going there. I think I wanna implement that as well. So I'm gonna take this into two strands and twist away from my face. It's important to pull that section away or else it'll buckle and you gonna look silly and I don't want you to look silly. Unless you wanna look silly, then look silly. Once you've reached about almost to the bottom, you're gonna take that, just like we have before, find that strong piece and rouge. Okay, so you should have like a pretty little tiny piece of Dutch braid or Dutch, I don't know, some, some texture. You take a little hairspray if you want to, really pull into that, and really get a lot of texture. Again, I'm just using my fingers like this, just to kind of pull it out a little bit. So with that being said, I see a little nook where it can lay right here. So I'm gonna pull that very lightly. Again, nothing too tight. You don't want to look like you just came from your facelift that you uh, didn't get, so. So the foundation is in. We're almost done, my friends. So you're gonna find a couple indiscrepancies. Again, pinning is your best friend and a little bit of hairspray. And when you wanna close those gaps, smooth anything out, this is kind of um, where upsales really come together is the detail work. So grab a mirror, Grab your mirror and take a look real quick. I will see you after I do that. Okay, so now that you've smoothed out the back of your head, what you are going to be doing is curling your little side pieces right here. These are so important and I don't think enough people understand a good balance between them. You don't want like a chunk per se, but you don't necessarily want nothing because then you look for. 
<laughs> it's a weird balance. So I like to just, like I did before, take that section, clean up what I leave out. And we're just gonna take that. This is my key. Most people curl away from their face and end up with a really weird, long, scraggly thing. Curl that bad boy towards your face. Do it. You are gonna thank me later. So take your section. You're gonna hold that right about here. And curl that towards your face, nice and slow. Let it cool, let it cool. Trust. And then over here, take those little baby sections, comb those bad boys out. Take your section, pull it straight out from the head and curl towards the face. Cool? Now that we've done that, go through, take your comb, comb down, and with a little bit of hairspray, and now on the other side, Take your comb, comb through, and give it a light spray. And now for our final section, take your bangs. Personally, I like everything to have a little bit more curl to it, a little bit more like um, cohesion. So I'm gonna take my bangs and give them just a little bit more of a bump towards the end. So I'm really turning that in right down here, almost curling the ends right there. See how they bump up? Let them cool. Let them do their thing. They're cool. Okay, so now that you have your bangs curled, we are going to take them, give them a nice comb down Hold them straight out from the head and give them a spray. Top and bottom. Why do you say why? So you can set them. This helps to keep the shape in so you can play with it and see where you want it to lay. I like mine to kind of buckle right by the eye and have some drama and also flip out. So I'm gonna take my comb and just flip them out a little bit. pieces and start to marry them together. Pull out any little pieces, like I like some of my little babies to cover up you girls. Bald spot. Oops. This is our final project. So, Basically, you will get a nice, easy, soft, whimsical, textured look with this kind of experience. And this can translate to like anything. So if you want a full head of curls, do this with your naturally curly hair. If you want an amazing, easy, whimsical upsell, throw a headband in, put a clip in. You can accessorize this anyway. Um, I have used this to work and then go have dinner and just, you know, feel my best self. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, let me know below what you would like to see more of. So.